Hello, this is Pastor Tim Wells, pastor of Cross of Christ Lutheran Church in Aurora, Nebraska. Today is Friday. We're just two days away from Christmas Eve, three days away from Christmas morning. This is our last devotional video for this week until we get to Christmas weekend. And as I record this devotion, I'm sitting in the dark and I'm holding a candle. It kind of glares here, I see in the uh, view, so you really can't see it lit. Let's see if I can make that better. Yeah. But regardless, I'm holding a candle. I said yesterday, for today's devotion, we'll talk about our Christmas Eve service. That's at 5.30 this Sunday evening. And then also our Christmas morning service. For Christmas Eve, uh, we will have our candlelight service. At the end of service, we sing Silent Night by Candlelight. And the use of candlelight is very much appropriate as we celebrate the birth of our Savior. Because we remember that Jesus was the light shining in the darkness. If we look at Luke's account, and this will be what we look at for Christmas Eve, so Sunday night. You have the shepherds. And they're watching their flocks in the darkness of night. But suddenly there's bright light in the sky. It says that angels appear in the sky and shine in glory. And they are there to proclaim the good news that the Savior has been born. Now, the shepherds might be shining brightly. But they're not the real light that we celebrate at Christmas, no. The true light that we celebrate is Jesus. And here I'm going to read to you from John chapter 1. This is our gospel reading for Christmas morning. This is John chapter 1, the first five verses. And here John writes, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Jesus is the light shining in the darkness. This dark world of sin in which we are unable to know and see our way back to God. But Jesus came to be that way. To be our way back to the Father through his death on the cross, through his resurrection. He came to be the light, bringing us back to our Heavenly Father. Jesus is the light, shining in the darkness. And it's his birth that we celebrate this weekend. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have not left us to sit alone in this dark world of sin, but that you have entered the world through your Son, our Savior, as our light, shining in the darkness to forgive our sins and to bring us back to you. Be with us and bless us, Lord, as we now celebrate our Savior's birth this Sunday evening and Monday morning. And Lord, keep us mindful of the great gift you have given us in Christ. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. I pray God's blessings on your day and on your weekend. Quick reminder of what's coming up. We have worship this coming Sunday morning. I'll be at 9 a.m. That's the fourth Sunday in the season of Advent. And then we'll have Christmas Eve worship Sunday evening, 5.30 p.m. That'll be our candlelight service. And then Christmas Day worship, Christmas morning worship on the 25th, Monday at 10 a.m. I pray God's blessings on your Christmas celebrations, and I hope to see you this weekend. Amen.